children. Today I'm going to tell you the story called Luba and the Wren by Patricia Polacco. So once upon a time in the country, in a little dacha, in a little house, there lived a family. Luba was the child, and the parents were farmers, but their house was small and crowded, and the roof leaked, and the fences needed mending, and the land was meager and bare, and it was hard to grow anything there, but they did. And Luba was as happy and carefree as any child can be. And she would play outside and she had a little goat. Dunayo Dunachka, Dunayachka, Dunayo Yaka, Dunayo 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 And she'd dance and play with the goat and be outside. Now one day, as Luba was collecting mushrooms in the forest, she heard a little cry. And she looked up in the tree and there she saw a little bird caught in a net. Oh, she uh, took the net off the bird and ooh, it flew away and sang the most glorious song. my life and because of that I am going to grant you any wish that you would like because I am enchanted. <gasps> Luba couldn't believe it. She had never heard a talking bird that was enchanted but she said oh oh uh, I am happy and I am content. I do not have any wish. Well, said the little wren, if ever you want for anything, please come to this tree and call me and I shall grant your wish. Okay. The bird flew away and Luba went back to her parents and told them about the wren. And then, I said, but Luba, Luba, don't you know that our life is hard here and it's so hard to grow anything in this ground and our house is so small? Why didn't you ask for a bigger farmhouse with, 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 with more fertile land so it's easier for us to grow things and flowering fruit trees? Go on, the wren saved your life, so go and ask, oh, says Luba. And so she went back into the forest and she called the little wren. And the little wren came. Yes, dear one, the guy. What is it that you wish? Well, it isn't I that wish anything. It's my parents. They, they wish for a bigger farmhouse and, and and, and, and better land so that it's easier to grow things. And, and, and go, it's already done, said the wren. And Luba 
went back to the house. But when she got there, she did see more fertile land there. And she saw flowering fruit trees. But her Dunayetchka was still there. And she thought, oh, for sure, my parents will be happy and content now. And they were for one day. But when Luba woke up in the morning, she saw her parents pacing back and forth in front of her bed. And they said, Luba, Luba, we have been thinking. We are not happy. We are not content with this farmhouse. We, 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 we want a bigger, bigger, bigger estate. And we want hundreds of acres of land. Okay, Lubitschka? And we want people to work for us on our land. After all, the wren saved your life and is enchanted and can, and, and, and should be grateful for you. So, idi sprashi, go and ask the wren. Oh, oh, but, but aren't you happy with, with this farmhouse? How could I ask the wren for more? Idi sprashi, go and ask the wren for more. You saved its life. It should be grateful. And so, Luba went back into the forest and called the wren. Ptichka malinkaya. Yes, Dragaya, what is it, my dear? It is not I that wish for it, it's my parents. Now they wish for a huge manor house and hundreds of acres of land and, and people to work for them. It's already done. Go. And when Luba went back, oh, at least Duna, Duna was there, but there was a grand walkway coming up to their huge farmhouse. And there were statues that were in the garden and ponds and fountains. And Luba thought, my, surely they will be happy and content now. And they were for three days. But when Luba woke up in the morning, there she found her parents pacing back and forth in front of her bed. And they said, Luba, Luba, we have been thinking, no, 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 we are not happy. We are not content with this. We want a palace. Yes, a grand palace. Perhaps we will be happy and content with that. And since we have a palace, we could be rulers of all of Ukraine. Yes, we can be rulers of the Ukraine, of our country. Yes, Luba, go idi, sprashi, ask the wren. Oh. Oh. Okay, and so Luba went back into the forest and called the wren. Yes, Dragaya, yes, dear. What is it you wish this time? No, it, it isn't I that wish anything. It's my parents. Now they want a castle and, and, and they want to be the rulers of all of Ukraine. Oh. It's already done. And when Luba went back this time, <gasps> there was a grand, grand, grand walk. 
walkway coming up to the palace and Dunaya Dunachka Dunayachka Dunaya Yaka Tierva Zimina Voda Yaka Nakraya Duna was not there. Instead, there was a, a huge palace. <sighs> and there her parents came in a grand carriage and they had fine clothes and they had servants at the door opening the door for them and inside there was a great feast for them and people served them and they ate and they hardly noticed Luba at all and Luba thought well surely now they are going to be happy and content and they were for one week. But when Luba awake, woke, there her parents were pacing back and forth in front of her bed. And then they said, Luba, Luba, we have been thinking we are not happy and content with this palace, but since we are the rulers of all of Ukraine, why not be rulers of all of the Russias? Yes, we deserve that. And perhaps then, when we have that much more, we will be happier and we will be more content. Idi, Sprashi, go and ask the Ren ask the wren that oh yes you can the wren you saved the wren's life uh, and the wren should be grateful go idi sprashi and so luba went back into the forest but as she went it was getting very windy and the wind was blowing in the forest and she went back and she called, Patichka Malinkaya. And here comes the little bird. Yes, what is it you wish this time? Oh, it's not I that wish anything. It's my parents. Now they wish to be rulers of all of Russia. Oh, it's already done, and the bird flew off. And this time, when Lube came back, oh my, she saw a grander, grander walkway with peacocks walking everywhere, and she saw great onion dogs, great great palace walls everywhere and glittering jewels everywhere and guards guarding her she could hardly get in the door and there her parents were ordering this person about and get me that and do this and do this now and get it now and faster and quicker and bring me this and bring me that and Luba thought well surely they're gonna be happy and content now and they were for a month. But then when Luba woke up in the morning, oh, she saw her parents pacing back and forth in front of her bed. And they said, Luba, Luba, we have been thinking. We are not happy. We are not content with being rulers of all of Russia. Of all the Russias, we want to be rulers of the world. 
After all, we can rule all the brushes. Why not the whole world? Edi, Sprashi, go and ask the rest. But I can't do that. Oh, yes. You saved the wren's life. The wren said it would grant you whatever wish. Go. Oh. Luba went back into the forest and now it was so much darker and there was, it was beginning to storm. to go home in this dark and cold but if I if I 
just stay under this enchanted tree for the night where where the wren is from perhaps then i will be taken care of and i'll go home in the morning and so luba slept under her enchanted tree and in the morning when she came out of the woods there came her lovely Dunichka, Dunichka, Dunichka was there. And instead of all that marble and gold, there was her meager land. But there was the house and the, the floors were creaking, the fences needed mending. The, the land was still, there were her favorite tree nearby, and there she saw her parents on the porch, and they called to her, Lubichka, 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 our precious, our precious, come here, Lubichka, and they hugged her and said, oh, my dear girl, we had been worried about you all night and we wished and we hoped and we sent light to you. And now you are here. Now that we have you here, we have our most preciousness, the most precious treasure that ever, ever could be. We have the most happiness that we could ever, ever have. And we are content, Lubitschka. We are content with you and we shall always be so. And her mother said, Lubitschka, I have made you, carved you a spoon. My soup, you can eat with it, Lubitschka. I am so happy to see you. And her father said, Lubitschka, Lubitschka, I have made you a bird. I have made you a bird. Here, take it. And Luba, thank you, thank you, Papa. Thank you, Mama. Oh, do I? And they were happy and content for, if not forever, for one whole lifetime. And this story is true, as true can be, for a little brown wren told it to me. And that's the end of the story. See you next time.